I'm Randy and I make candy and today I'm making coconut cream Easter eggs. Stick around. <music> Greetings my confectionery compadres and welcome to Randy Makes Candy, where I help you make tasty treats that people love to eat. The Sunday is Easter so I thought it'd be appropriate to make some Easter eggs. When I was looking at recipes, I saw one with an ingredient that made my jaw drop. I was skeptical but intrigued, so I had to try it. Hopefully, you'll have the same reaction. As always, I'd love to hear about your results if you decide to make your own coconut cream Easter eggs, as well as suggestions for other recipes you'd like to see in future videos. Okay, let's make this happen. To make 20 eggs, you'll need 250 grams of confectioner sugar, 170 grams of finely shredded coconut, three quarters of a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a pinch of salt, 224 grams of chocolate chips or melting wafers, and some colored candy melts for decorating. Oh, and I can't forget the secret ingredient. Potatoes. That's right, my confused compadres. This recipe contains 80 grams of cold mashed potatoes. Crazy, right? <laughs> Well, potato candy is a thing that actually exists, and I imagine we'll eventually make some here in the candy kitchen. Apparently, some potato-loving pioneer thought that a starchy spud would make a great binder to hold a bunch of other ingredients together. <laughs> Two pieces of advice, though, regarding the potatoes. If you mash them with a little bit of cream, they'll be, well, creamier. <laughs> And regardless of how you usually make your mashed potatoes, I'd recommend not using garlic in this batch. You'll also need something in which to melt your chocolate, an egg-shaped silicone mold, a spoon or spatula, a piping bag or plastic bag with the tip cut off, a baking rack, and a cutting board lined with silpat, parchment, or waxed paper. Okay, let's make some candy. Temper the chips or melt the wafers. Put the mold on a rack and fill the cavities about halfway. Then use a spoon to push the chocolate up the sides to the very top. Flip the mold over and let the chocolate drain out onto a silpat or piece of parchment or waxed paper. Tap the bottom of the mold to help the chocolate find its way out. If this looks familiar, it's because you saw me use the same technique in the Scotch Mallow episode. Add the mashed potatoes, sugar, coconut, vanilla, and salt to a mixing bowl and blend well. It's going to be pretty loose, but that's fine. By now, the chocolate should have set. If not, wait a little bit longer. Spoon some of the mixture into each chocolate egg, leaving room for a final layer of chocolate on the top. Put them in the refrigerator for about an hour so that loose filling can set up a bit. Remove the chocolate from the silpat and remelt it. Then pour the chocolate over the coconut cream filling, making sure it gets to the edges of the cavities, and let it set. Remove the eggs from the mold, melt the candy melts, and pipe it over the eggs in any pattern you'd like. And that's it! Okay, let's have a taste. Slanchiva. Wow, I'm really impressed. This is like a Mounds or a Bounty Bar, but the filling is way creamier. I really like this. And no potato flavor at all, so that's another plus. I will say though that before I make these again, I need to buy a smaller mold. These things are huge. <laughs> Regardless, you really ought to try these. If you enjoyed your time here in the Candy Kitchen, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for sticking around, and I hope you'll join me next time. I'm Randy, and I make candy, and today I'm making coconut cream Easter eggs. Stick around. Oh, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. 
I imagine they will and a cutting board. Flip the mold over and let the chocolate drain out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do that. Flip the mold over and let the chocolate drain out onto a silpat or a piece of watch. 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 Watch.